Today we're going to be talking about ionic Lewis dot structures. And just like with any other compound, I must start with my correct formula. So we'll go ahead and we'll look at this compound, magnesium chloride. Magnesium is a metal. It is in the first two columns, which would make it a representative metal. Since I know that, I know that I have to figure out its charge based off of its number of valence electrons. It's in column two, which means it has two valence electrons, and that means it will donate those two, and so we'll have a charge of positive two. Chlorine is in column seven, it is a non-metal, and since it has seven valence electrons, it will steal one valence electron to get to eight. Now with that, I can go ahead and exchange charges for subscripts. So magnesium's charge of positive two became chlorine's subscript of two, and chlorine's charge of negative one became magnesium's subscript of one. Now remember that my subscripts are counts, so now I just need to draw the Lewis dot structures for the appropriate number of atoms. So I need to draw one magnesium Lewis dot structure, and I need to draw two Lewis dot structures of chlorine. So magnesium, as we already discussed, was in column two. That would make it have two valence electrons, which means I need two dots, one on the top and one on the right. And then we had uh, two chlorine uh, uh, atoms, and chlorine is in column seven, so that means I need seven valence electrons. So we have three sets of lone pairs and one lone electron on both of my chlorine atoms. Now that I have my Lewis dot structures for the appropriate number of atoms drawn, I can go ahead and draw arrows symbolizing that transfer of electrons from my metal to my nonmetal, transforming them into something new. So I have magnesium giving up its two electrons. You'll notice that these arrows are drawn to the empty spaces on chlorine. Chlorine only has one empty space to fill, so one electron is going to go and sit with chlorine. Now that I have shown the uh, symbolic transfer of those electrons with full arrows, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and uh, redraw my structure with my new charges, with the new homes of those electrons, and we're going to see what that looks like. So magnesium gave away its electrons completely, so I have redrawn magnesium with no dots around it. I have also reflected that magnesium gave away two valence electrons by giving magnesium a charge of positive two. Chlorine, on the other hand, now has eight, since it had seven and it stole one. That gets chlorine all the way up to eight, the perfect octet. But chlorine did steal uh, one electron from magnesium, so we are going to denote that with a negative one charge. You'll notice that these brackets are around my anion. That is to help uh, make sure that my charge and my uh, valence electron dots don't get mixed up. When you're writing really quickly, negatives can very quickly start looking like dots and then you have extra and then it's a whole thing. So we have very strategically placed brackets around it to protect any, uh, any of our dots from being confused with the charge at all. Um, we do have some general rules for ionic Lewis structures. And the first of which is going to be that like charges cannot touch, okay? Like charges are going to be similar in positive or negative. And so I cannot have two positives touching each other, nor two negatives touching each other. You'll notice that whenever I actually wrote this out, I moved my chlorine away from next to each other and I put them on opposite sides of magnesium so that they wouldn't touch. Instead, I am touching the person that I stole from, which was that magnesium. My anion should always have eight dots, and that is going to be because uh, it worked really hard to steal that last valence electron, and the whole reason it's an anion is to get to that octet, so it's going to make sure that it has those eight dots in that final structure. 
Uh, my anion must also be in brackets with the charge outside of the brackets. It is a mandate. And then finally, in my uh, final structure, my cation should not have any valence electrons left. The valence electrons were stolen. You cannot redraw something that is not there. But that's it for Ionic Lewis.